Hey, thanks for taking the time to, to spend with, with me just with a few, just a short little devotional thought for today. I want to start with something that Paul wrote in Romans chapter 12. I think it's really, really relevant to where we are right now. Paul says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship, is what the ESV says. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is uh, good and acceptable and perfect. It's been quite a couple of weeks, hasn't it? Who would have thought just a few years ago, or even just a few months ago, that we would see what we've seen right here in Bentonville, Arkansas, what we've seen this past week, police and riot gear, tear gas, violent protests. Who would have guessed that? And while there always are these kind of things that happen and there's always these kind of things where we feel like there's something we should do, it seems maybe like the, the pressure is increased as to how should we respond? How should you and I, as the people who wear the name of Jesus, what should we say to this? What, how, what should be our reaction? And there are plenty of people who want to tell us what that is. There are a lot of people who want to tell us what, uh, what we should think uh, what we should see in this, how we should respond, everybody taking their, their side and, and, and pressuring it. And you can feel the pressure mount. You can feel the tension mount. I, 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 maybe, maybe it's just me. What are we to do? What do we have to say to this? What do I have to say in the face of this? It seems really, really heavy. We may even wonder, is there anything? Is there anything that we can do about this? Anything at all? I think there is. I think there is, but it's not going to be easy. I think there's some things that can be done that, that, will, that may begin to work. But I want to start by talking about just a couple of things that, that won't work. I just want to mention these things in passing. Here's some things that I don't think will work. I don't think social media rants will work. I don't think virtue signaling on social media to say, hey, look at me and look what I think and you should think the same thing and if you don't, then maybe, maybe you should rethink your whole position. I don't think holding on to our own particular bias at all costs is going to help anything. Because I'm going to tell you, and this is, and, and, and you may disagree with this, and that's fine. But if these things were going to work, then this problem would have been solved a long time ago because that seems to be what's out there right now. Rants, posts, here's what you should think. Oh, if you don't think this, then you can't be a virtuous person. Or I'm going to hold on to my particular bias no matter what. Those things aren't going to happen. I think what we saw and what we heard from Paul in those first two verses in Romans chapter 12 are enormously important. Because right now we're being pressured, pushed to conform to someone's image or another, right? To one person's way of thinking or another. And we've set up this this, uh, it's a false dichotomy of going, well, you either have to do this or you have to do this. Because if you do this, if this is what you think, then there's no way you can think this. If you think this, then there's no way you can think this. And, you know, you cannot be right. And, and I, don't, I don't believe that's the case. I think what will work is something that's going to be much more difficult than we ever imagined. Maybe much more difficult than we've had to, to endure. We're be, to be transformed into the image of Jesus, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. Walk the path that Jesus walked. One of the things that troubles me a lot 
and I see it from from all different directions. And if we try to follow the news or or follow the events of the day, we see it on both sides. Of someone wanting to play the Jesus card, right? As if I can play the Jesus card and I can pick and choose the things from the life of Jesus that says, then I'm right. We have to consider the whole thing. I read just over the past few days of people saying, you see, Jesus was not against protesting. Watch Jesus uh, cleanse the temple, Matthew chapter 21. Jesus speaks the truth, sometimes brutally honestly truth to those in power. Just go and read Matthew chapter 23 where he says, woe to you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, the people who are in power. One of the things we need to go ahead with, though, from that, from Matthew chapter 21 and forward, is to realize that in just a few days of Jesus cleansing the temple, in just a few days of Jesus pronouncing these seven woes on the on the powers that be, and Jesus walks to the cross, walks with the cross to Golgotha, and dies for every single one of those people. To walk the path of Jesus means that we pick up the cross and we follow him. Not just in the steps where we want him to go. Not in the steps where we think, I I wish he would have gone there. But in all those steps. That means that we're going to have to give up some things. We're going to have to ask him to search us and to put to death those biases and things that we hold that we don't want to let go of. That means that we're going to have to to put to death our own personal view and our own personal desire to want to use Jesus to boost our argument, but instead to submit to his lordship. Maybe what Paul was talking about in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 when he says, we take every thought captive to obey Jesus. Can we change the world? Not until it begins with us. Not until it begins with me. Not until it begins with me saying, okay, Lord, search me. Help me to identify it. Help me to put it to death. Those things that are not of you. Help me to pray every day that your kingdom come. And your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Help us to to long for justice. To love and to look out for those who are oppressed. But to be willing to die for those on either side. To recall to be living sacrifices. To be used in the service of God. To walk the path that Jesus walked. If we want to know how Jesus would respond to the events of the day, we need to spend some time looking at his life in the Gospels. It's a difficult time we live in. Maybe not any more difficult than it's ever been, but it's certainly difficult right now. The call that you and I have to follow Jesus, to, to be image bearers of Jesus, is never put more to the forefront than it is right now. How are we going to respond to that? We need to walk the way he walked. May God bless us. May God continue to bless us as we live out the call that we have to pick up the cross and to follow Jesus. God bless.